So what we're gonna do is make a custom Dota 2 game mode and do an entire tutorial series on how you can make your very own game mode too. And for this series we're gonna make a project of a battle arena game mode and this first episode is getting started on how to install everything, the very basics of the hammer and a very simple code example of spawning an enemy into the world. So to get started what you want to do is install download steam download dota get it updated go to your library which is the list of your games go to dota now you right click on dota go to properties and go over here to DLC now in the DLC there's a workshop DLC workshop tools DLC and you want to check this off and close this window once you close it the download should start pretty soon afterwards once you've downloaded and updated to the latest version you would want to click play and launch dota 2 tools to check this option and click play then now the tools launcher is going to start up and what we want to do is create our own battle arena game mode now this is going to be there's all these different project files. Some of these ones have ones I've worked on in the past. And the ones with the blue check mark are the ones where Valve have created stuff themselves. And you can go in and look at their own code yourself if you want to do. And we're not going to do that for this episode. We're going to look at the basics again. Everything started. So the first thing you want to do is click down here on to create empty add-on. So this is the name of your project. It really doesn't matter what your project is. Called. So we're going to call this uh, my project. Uh, can I spell right? I did spell right. Okay, I think I did anyways. So we create this project and now we select it and launch custom game tools. Now the custom game tools should start up now and you can name your project whatever you want. For this, I'm just using my project. Now currently Dota is launching in the background. It launches in a debug mode or kind of like a debug mode. You can't play any matches from this mode and you can't uh, watch any games like replays. So we go into settings and we want to change this to a windowed mode. I already have done this. You might see that your Dota opens really big in the background. You want to change to advanced settings and change it to a windowed mode so that it's smaller in the background and more manageable because we're going to be dealing with a lot of different windows while making custom games. Now we go to this asset browser which is the other window that opens with this. Now the asset browser is for looking at different files such as the Dota map or any textures or 3D models that exist in Dota. We're not doing any of that. What we're going to do is go to the hammer up here in the top left hand corner of this window. Now when the hammer starts up, we want to go and create a new file. So we go file new and this is basically the map editor for Dota. So what the problem is is that we don't have anything in the map right now. So we need to create something and what Dota uses is a tile editor. So if we go over here onto the left hand side, there's all of these different tools that exist. And the tool that we want right now is the tile editor, which is down here at the very bottom. So we click on the tile editor and this little pop up will come up saying, how big do you want your map to be? I would highly recommend to pick small or very small when you're starting out because you're going to do iterations and small tests and stuff very regularly. And the smaller your map is, the faster everything will load. So for this tutorial, I'm going to do 32 by 32 grid. I might change it in the future, but I think 32 by 32 is good enough for a battle arena game mode. And doing the very large stuff can become massive loading times, not only for you as a developer making your own custom game, but also for the players starting up the custom game itself. So instantly we have this viewport showing the map but the problem is is we need to learn how to control the camera we're not going to go into super advanced stuff about the camera or the tools this is just the straight up getting started guide so what we want to do is hold down on the right mouse button and move our mouse we can rotate the camera and this will allow us to look around then if you want to move the camera you can use WASD to pan the camera. Now this is pretty useful but in order to utilize this the most you need to combine both the camera rotation and WASD to fly the camera around. Now what we're gonna do 
is we're going to draw some stuff and in straight away by default you should have the tile editor still selected and you click this one here the first option which is paint terrain so you can paint anything you want you can keep painting and you can draw another higher height here another one you can create a giant mountain i think that's what most people end up doing in their very first attempt when they're making something in dota now you might make a mistake and you want to undo it Control z is to undo and we can undo all of this and if you want to redo is Control y so all of these are listed up here in the menus. If we go to edit, there's control Z and control Y. So we can do this from this place as well. If we don't want to use those shortcuts, but we do want to undo a lot of this. Now, the other thing that might happen is that you want to edit the existing terrain. So if I want to make this lower, what I need to do is hold down on the control button. You'll see the red circle comes up now and draw on this. This will lower the height by one at this location and do all of that and it will level it all out to this location or to the height that's currently defined which is the the flat plane that we're seeing below so that's pretty good but we might want to rub stuff out faster so what we can do is we can make the radius bigger or smaller by adjusting the slider on the left or with the shortcut you can hold down the middle mouse button and slide your mouse left or right to make this bigger or smaller so by doing that we can go hold down and control and we can make this. We can also go and make a hole in the ground if we wanted to, but we don't want that to happen. So for example, if I start drawing here and go down, the map will actually wipe away all this and it will pretty much put it all onto the same level of height that we want, but we don't want to do that. We just want to reset everything down onto a flat plane. Now you'll end up being able to mess around with a lot of this stuff, but what we're going to do just for this battle arena is create a circle because that's what a lot of ballerina does if i could draw a circle and we're having technical difficulties here that uh, maybe that's like the best circle i can do right so now there's a bunch of other stuff that goes on with dota you have trees which is the other option up here you can literally play around with all these things they're just uh, probably the easiest part of doing custom game stuff and trees are a little bit of interesting stuff they add fog of war and stuff and then the other thing that's really important to your custom game is patching do you know how you have a stairs on mid lane and other places so let's say we want to walk up and down high ground you can make stairs like this with this tool here this is, ensures that there's a patching from a to b this will also overwrite trees as well and we're not caring about how good our map looks right now or how pretty it looks or anything like that. Maybe we want to make a small stairs. We're just looking at the very basics of custom games in Dota. Now, the other ones is water and that ends being similar of where you need a stairs to go in and out of it. Uh, here we make a stairs and you can go in and out and make a little pool of water if you wanted to. And we're not going to do any of that for now. The other thing that's kind of nice to just make it a little bit prettier is we can go select tile sets. This is a pretty important part that you might want to do pretty early on is if you select tile sets and go into the first one. So this is the current tile set that we've been currently drawing with on our palette and we can change this. Let's say we want to make a snow map. I don't know where the snow one is. So I'm going to type in snow on the filter at the top. I'm going to pick Radiant Snow Basic. So when I click this, it will change the map you see in the background to a snowy map. And if I click Accept and Close, now we have a snowy map. You can change these things later, but if you want to see the visual effect of them now as you're editing it, because some of the trees, as you'll see, look different based on the different tile sets that are available. Now, this is just really basic stuff and we're not caring too much about what the map looks like for this series we might do something in the future for making it pretty so that's enough of polish for now so what we need to do is go to prefab so down here in this menu on uh it should be in the bottom so prefabs we want to click on basic entities and click and hold and left drag with left mouse button and drag it into the world this is where you're going to spawn and where the player is going to spawn and a couple of other stuff that's required for the Dota 2 custom game game mode. So when you have that in place, you want to go to build your game mode. 
To build it, you press F9. Now, you can also press File and go build a map. The shortcut is F9, which brings this menu up. This is really important, and you want to do a full compile and click Create Minimap on Load. The minimap will bug out the first time that you build your custom game, but once you press Build, it will now build it. And it, you actually have to save it before you build it as well, which I forgot to do. So I'm going to call this my map. This is just the placeholder that we have right now. And we can update this in the future. Your own custom game can have several different maps that you want. You can have as many as you want. But you see what's happening right now is it's building. And this takes around 20-30 seconds for me on a small map. If you do a bigger map, this is going to take even longer. And you might not want to deal that long with trying to build a map every time you make a small change. So, when this is finished, it will launch it in the Dota 2 like application here, or in the background, and it will bring it to the front by our current settings that are set there by default. And here is the default uh, like team assignment stuff for the custom games, which are... You can customize this as well, but we don't really care too much about this right now. We random a hero, and then we're going to skip ahead into the game mode to get it all started up. So now we have our map. Isn't that pretty cool, right? Yes. We can move around and look at stuff as well. So one thing that you might want to do to check around in your map is to get a blink dagger. So all of the Dota 2 cheats that are out there, you can go around and look at your map. The Dota 2 cheats are at least documented online. So if we pause this game mode and we go to the Dota 2 cheats, this is kind of like the wiki for it. And there's all of these different cheats that are here. There's a lot of the ones that at the top are very useful. For example, WTF, which gives you no cooldowns on any of your spells. And also you can do item and then blink. You can go item force and it'll create a force staff. There's kind of like an auto complete for it. Now you have no cooldown on anything, but you can go around the map and check to see that everything generated correctly or update or whatever. So with that in place, we might want to undo that WTF mode because problems can come with that in the future. So we'll undo that as well. There's a bunch of other commands that are there with the cheats, but one that's quite useful to realize is there are heroes here. So you have NPC Dota Hero Axe. That's the name of Axe within Dota. Some heroes have something a little bit different, like Doom is called Doombringer, Clockwork is Rattle Trap, and some have really old names. So the name in code is different to the name of the hero in game. So, but I want to show you an example of what commonly happens when you're doing your custom game. So let's say you go and you change something in your map. So let's say I make a mountain here at this location. So this should be, oh, I've also lost, let's say I don't know my direction on my camera now. I don't know. Down here at the bottom left, there's an option for your other camera. This is a top down view and it will show you, so you can scroll wheel in and out to zoom in and out of this one. So this will show you from the Dota minimap almost perspective. So you see that this is down in the bottom right hand corner. So if we, this, all these like points here, this is our mountain. And these are the trees at this point here. So what we're gonna do is, this is the position our camera is facing, which looks very similar to this. It doesn't really no notice. So see there's the point in the direction. And now we know what way the camera is working. You might also have things I never mentioned, like your own game mode. You might be default at all, like all lighting. You might wanna change this to full bright so it doesn't have the fog and stuff. There's just small settings that you can go along and these are kind of useful when building stuff. So when you go and press F9, if you don't do a full build, you can skip a build and it won't update any of this. If you want to update the map, you need to do the full build. The skip build is really useful for restarting your game mode as you'll see in the, in a couple of minutes now. But Choose your hero. every time that you want to change something on your map, you not only have to save it, but you also have to build it as well. See this mountain is not here, it's supposed to be down in the bottom right hand corner. It doesn't exist. So 
we're not gonna build the map yet. If we wanted to build it, we press this button now. But for the tutorial, we're gonna move on to the next thing and get stuff going kind of quickly, right? We're gonna move on to the next thing. We're not sitting around holding you up. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go into our file system. Where is this game mode saved? And it's actually kind of confusing, right? So first off, you need to go to your Steam folder. So for me, it's in the C drive and program files x86. And you want to go down to Steam. This is where my Steam folder is located. Maybe yours is located there too. Now, once you're in your Steam folder, you need to go to where your Dota 2 custom game is. Now, this is where there's a lot of folder clicking to get to where you want to be. So where you want to go is into Steam apps. Click on that. Then you want to go to common. Dota 2 beta. All your games should be listed here. I only have one game installed. That's all you need. Dota 2 beta. Remember, it's still 10 years later, but it's still called the beta. Then you want to go down to game. And you want to go to Dota add-ons. And we want to find the name of our game mode, which is called, what was it? My project. So we click on my project. We go to scripts. Click on scripts, V scripts. And now we have a file called add-on game mode.lua. This is where our code starts. And what we're gonna do is open it in our text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, which you can install here as well if you want to. You can use Notepad++, you can use Notepad, any text editor works. Probably not Microsoft Word though. <laughs> but you wanna use any editor and it doesn't really matter. And in the future episodes, it'll be important. You don't have to install it right now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a hero. So I have this line of code that I have made earlier. And what this does is it creates ax at this location on the bad guy's side, which is the dire side. And we don't really care too much about code and the technical aspect of it. This is just simple, simple example. We wanna make sure we save this. And what we can do is we can restart this and we can run and do a skip build on this and what will happen is that the Lua code that we're writing what we're changing will actually update uh, based on this so for we start up our game mode we have to wait for the start Choose your hero. we random a hero and axe should spawn somewhere north of us Broadway. currently right now so if we go up here we can't see axe because of the fog so of war so now he appears and it worked isn't that pretty cool now axe is kind of in a, a state of permanent aggro once he sees you he just keeps chasing after you and you can't really control the hero either which is unlike the demo mode that happens in dota so our custom game is working now, if we want to look, for example, with the other build, if we do the other build and we save our map, remember we made this mountain in the bottom right hand corner, we can wait for this to build and the map should update as a result of this. So while we're waiting, one thing I would recommend is once you get to this project folder of my project, so Dota add-ons, my project, the na this is the name of your project, Go and bookmark it to quick access. You might want this in the future to navigate back here on an easier basis in case you lose it a little bit later. So now has Dota loaded up my custom game? It's still building it. Okay, it loads in. And sometimes your custom game lags a little bit when it at the very start. That's actually just Dota itself. So you don't have to worry too much about it. So if we go down to the bottom right corner, here's our mountain. And it's so big, it actually obstructs our camera so much. So you do need to be aware of some of the stuff like this that can happen. And when you're designing your game, and this is why you might want to iterate and build your map quickly, is because look at this. This is actually a visual bug that can happen because our mountain is too big. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see next episode, what we're going to do is look at Lua and the absolute basics of it. And we're going to build it up and we're going to be able to code eventually in Dota 2 custom games. So make sure you like this video. Consider subscribing if you want to continue following this series.